Hi there, this is Coach Troy with Tate Fitness, and today I wanted to talk about the importance of gut health and digestion. Now, foods that actually help with digestion. Um, there's certain, you know, micronutrients foods that actually help with leaky gut, problems with IBS, um, acid reflux, um, and other sorts of digestional issues like gas and bloating. Now, probiotics and probiotic-rich foods. Um, when it would be a good quality probiotic, uh, either a 30 or 50 billion um, or on up probiotic that you can get, you know, at a normal supplement store. Fermented foods and fermented vegetables, which actually helps with bad bacteria in the gut, which is a natural probiotic. Um, certain issues like candida and yeast, which actually helps in overall production of gut protection. It also helps with digestive enzymes that help uh, and resealing and protecting your gut. Another thing is collagen rich foods. You know, you gotta remember your whole lining of your gut is made up of collagen. So to protect that, you need collagen rich foods such as uh, chicken broth, bone broth, uh, beef broth, which are very high in amino acids actually. And the amino acids are really high in protein as well, but the protective amino acids that break down into the protective issues of all your internal gut lining for digestive purposes of the foods that you can digest. Now you gotta remember digestion is so huge because if you can't eat something um, and, and get it down and have it go to the proper areas of your body as far as uh, you know micro and macronutrient dense foods, then what's the point of even eating it? You know, It's not all about um, total macros for the day and getting in as much food as you can. Even though as a, a fitness athlete or a bodybuilder I should say, we're all trying to grow for hypertrophy. We're trying to put in as much calories as we can, but you gotta remember, digestion's huge. It's probably number one on the list as far as an adequate source of foods that your body can handle, that it can break down and actually digest um, amino acid-wise and micronutrient-wise. Otherwise, like I said, you're kind of going into a negative aspect as far as not being able to process the foods that you're actually eating. You're blocking all kinds of, of things in the body that can actually help with absorption. Collagen rich foods are also high in proline, glycine, and hydroxyproline, which are really good for digestive purposes. Um, also glucosamine. Herbs and spices are also very highly micronutrient dense and helps with digestion um, in the form of, of good for gut health and overall digestional health. An example would be ginger. Ginger's probably uh, number one in inflammatory health as far as uh, an herb or spice goes. Coconut products are also fantastic for digestive issues and gut health as well. Has antimicrobial properties and it also gets rid of bad bacteria. Coconut oil are made up medium chain triglycerides and fatty acids, which actually helps for um, speeding up metabolism. Certain fruits and cooked vegetables are fantastic, um, such as blueberries, which are really high in antioxidants. So it's really good for oxidation of the whole body itself, and you know, including digestive properties. Um, cooked vegetables such as pumpkin, asparagus, broccoli, all fantastic for gut health issues. And last but not least, um, organic meats or organic caught meats, such as like salmon, for example, Fantastic and high on omega-3 fatty acids, which is great for digestion, um, great for uh, gut purposes as far as uh, utilization of protein and omega-3 fatty acids in a combination aspect for uh, breaking down um, all kinds of different digestive tract um, properties in the body. So anyways, you know, if you want to learn more about gut health or digestion or certain foods or micro and macronutrients foods, please contact me on the email below. Um, leave comments in the comment section. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. But anyways, take care. Thank you for listening and talk to you soon.